eight tonight is three two minute rounds of amateur K1 action. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, a representing the fighting Balkans, Poland, Bartos Kaminski. his opponent into the red corner. A representing King Tiger Ty Jack Cherry! Touch gloves in your corners. So three two-minute rounds of amateur K1. Bartosz Kaminski from the Fighting Falcons Poland in the blue. Jack Cherry from the King Tiger Thai in the red. Always a formidable gym when you see King Tiger Thai as the corner. Taller of the two as well by a good deal. Cherry, can he use that height advantage? We're about to find out in the first of potentially three two-minute rounds. Here at Infinity, full on, fired up. Big uppercuts there from Cherry. They're asking for the knee, but huge punches. Kaminsky's sort of been down on the canvas twice. He's trying to push forward, head down. So a tough start from the man from the Fighting Falcons as Cherry comes forward. Then the big knee to the midsection. And another knee from Cherry. Kaminsky finding it hard to get into this as the taller man comes blunt, blistering forward. Now Kaminsky is trying to get back in it. Front push kick from Cherry, then the right hand. Right hand reply from Kaminsky. And this is what Cherry's got to watch out for. The heavy hands of Kaminsky. Cherry lands back again. Both men swinging heavily now. Low chopping kick from Cherry, that's where he needs to keep it. He does not want to get into a boxing bout with Kaminsky. He's got the better skills, this is what the danger is for him. He's got the more rounded K1 skills, but if he stays in a boxing bout with Kaminsky, this could be dangerous for him. Oh, having said that, a sweet right hand from Cherry. And Kaminsky hits the canvas, his legs are still wobbly. And just as I said, Cherry really doesn't need to get into a boxing war with Kaminsky. He lands the perfect right hand, and he's going to go for it again. All he needs is a big knee coming up through the channel now with the way that Kaminsky is virtually on the floor. An uppercut or a knee will finish this. Because Kaminsky again ducking low because he wants to throw that huge overhand right. As he ducks low, the knee coming up the channel will drop him. As it is, somehow he's going to survive this first round. There's the knee, and again, Kaminsky is all over the place. That's all he needs, the knee or the uppercut. Kaminsky was dead on his feet there.
So round two of three, and will it go three? Kaminsky in all sorts of problems at the end of the round there. And there's the low kick. As I said, I felt Cherry had the other skills without the need, without the need for the mixing it with the boxing. to go again. So, how can Kamitsky come back? He ducks low again, looking for that big right hand. There comes the knee and the right hand now. Kaminsky forced back and he goes down, gets straight back up. Tough, tough character. But you feel a knee through the channel from Cherry because what he risks is a looping right hand from Kaminsky turning this on its head. And again, there's the big right hands. Cherry up through the channel with the knee or the uppercut because Kaminsky has got those big, heavy hands and Cherry doesn't want to risk getting caught by one of those. High head point kick misses. There's the knee to the midsection from Cherry. And away they go again. Kick to the back of the leg there. Both men tired now. And Cherry, they're screaming for him to use the knee. There's what he's got to watch for though, the Kaminsky right hand. It could change things over. He's landed it twice now, Kaminsky. Inside leg kick though this time from Cherry. And then the right hand over the top. Now he's pushing forward again. And Kaminsky all over the place, the knee to the midsection. Another knee could end this. And he's going to get the count again in the second round, Kaminsky. Tough, tough customer, been under all sorts of pressure here. So here we go once more. And here they go again. Can Cherry finish it here in the second? There's the uppercut. And Kaminsky backing off once more. There's the knee to the midsection. The gum shield comes out. And the way they go again. Kaminsky somehow is still there. And he survives the second round. So third and final hand, and somehow Kaminsky's still there. A low kick from Cherry. Looks to show it again. The knee to the midsection. And all he's got to look for is that huge right hand of Kaminsky. It's long, and the knee to the chest now. So Kaminsky, I think, ducking low, and they're worried about the knees there as Kaminsky's ducking low. This is amateur K1 rule, so there's no need to the head on this one. But yeah, I think what Nathan was saying was both of you be careful because Kaminsky is ducking very low. And again, it's that right hand of Kaminsky. Can he pull something out with it? Because he's so tough to still be there. He's soaked up so much punishment. But if that huge right hand lands, he could still pull out a victory. And there it is. Cherry pushing forward once more. Must be thinking, what have I got to do to put this man away? Because Kaminsky is still there. And there's the lead to the midsection that stops Kaminsky in his tracks once more. Then the low kick, the left hand to follow. But Kaminsky is still there. He's had a count in each round. And now the knee and the left hand of Cherry. And Kaminsky, to his credit, is still there. But Cherry's just got to watch for that big right hand that he throws now. 
and as long as he avoids them, this is his very cleanly. And he catches him with the jab as he comes in. Then the low kick, and Kaminsky's all off balance. Oh, the knee to the midsection catches him once more, but what a tough character this Polish fighter is from the Fighting Falcons. And Kaminsky still there, still looking to throw that huge right hand. Cherry pushes him back. Both men incredibly fatigued now. But as long as Cherry stays there the last 10 seconds, the knee to the midsection, he's going to get the big win. But Kaminsky is so, so tough. From push kick again from Cherry. Kaminsky throws for the rafters, but it's too little, too late. But what a game fighter. Decision of judges in favour of the red corner, Jack Cherry.